Hey everyone, Sully the Scourge here. Today I'm making a quick video talking about the Wonders of God event that's coming to Council Players uh, next week because you need to do a little bit of prep work ahead of time to take advantage of it. If you're a PC player, I'm sorry this won't really be that interesting to you. You've already had this event. Um, hopefully you enjoy the Tales of Old event that's going to be running uh, next week for you. But for us, we've got here on Xbox, PlayStation, we've got the Wonders of God. And this is the task in the new profession system. Every time the profession system and refinement system changes, uh, the Wonders of God event changes. And so this is what we have now. For a materials list, you need 10 steel ingots, 10 silver ingots, 10 slitstone whetstones, and 10 linseed oil. Now, you might think, well, to prepare, should I craft a bunch of these ahead of time? Yes, you can, but the reality is, if I set all my tasks overnight to produce these items, these aren't gathered items. These are crafted items here. So I can set my mailbox to collect a bunch of items, but even on my level 4 workshop, I'm going to get less than 40 items overnight, right? So I'm going to get less than one try at this. However, all these items can be bought for gold. I think the total gold cost, uh, when you combine all 40 items required, is about 7.5 gold. So the reality is, is you should probably be focusing on collecting gold so you can run this task a bunch of times uh, during the event. The other thing is to level up your professions. Um, this task should be available in all professions. Again, gathering is its own thing, um, so gathering wouldn't be included. But if you level up your professions, you're going to get access to level 70 tools and that's going to help you here here it requires a proficiency of 400 to succeed so that's not too hard to achieve but this wide range here on focus is going to be um what why you want your professions to kind of be level 70 ahead of time so you can use buyer tools and get that up now a forge hammer gives 600 focus and it is possible some artisans do have the remaining 400 focus you need so at least on one, if you had the perfect setup of a full focus artisan plus a forge hammer, you could get 1,000, which is a guaranteed uh, high tier result. But for the most part, you're not going to get 100% success rate, which means you can craft these materials ahead of time to get the plus one versions to increase your focus, or um, you know you just take the odds that you have. I believe if you get the high tier result you get some bonus refinement um some of these lower tier things uh i think you get some extra wondrous grommets some maybe some wondrous cogs i'm not 100 percent sure like i said this event changes all the time i tried to dig that information out i think it on blog post said extra refinement i'm not sure if that's what they meant is these lower rank ones you can collect the first spring Wondrous grommets off the ground by killing enemies, but there's kind of a cooldown timer uh, that really gates you. So for the most part, you're going to be wanting to run that task so you can kind of jump to the middle here and start upgrading so you can get to the doohickey. And you want to get as many doohickeys as possible. So again, I'm going to try and keep this video quick, but the question is, okay, well, is it worth my time preparing? And if you want to participate in this event, the way I look at it is, it's basically changing gold into lockbox keys, right? You can get this Creations of Wonder pack. Um, here are the rewards. This is the new updated set um, with the seasonal rewards. And uh, you can see it's basically a lockbox. Um, you've got some mounts. You've got a small chance at these limited time mounts. Uh, you know, those are kind of your military rewards. You also have Coal Ward as kind of a military reward. At the eye end, you high end you have the forge hammer gone which i think on xbox is going for around seven million basically you can trade it for a legendary mount if you wanted to and then you've got the new artifact which is kind of whatever because it's not a forge hammer gone right forge hammer gone one of the most expensive items in the game then you get your low tier rewards you know you got some preservation words some profession items uh if you end up in the low tier reward you get a wondrous gizmo back so you can try to craft again. That's kind of like when you get a bad lockbox, you resell the stuff and you get about half your investment so that you got about half to buy another key, right? So that's the way I look at this event. It's like turning gold into lockboxes. Um, 
this is all online. So here's the new artifact for the seasonal reward. Again, it doesn't have a special power like summoning a tool like the Forge Hammer again. So it's kind of just a stat artifact. Uh, the mounts are basically the same skins that uh, the Jubilee had for the anniversary mounts, except they're uh, gone type mounts. And you got a mini apparatus, which is a vanity pet, which is kind of a new thing. So again, I'm going to switch back here. It's best to try and get a bunch of gold if you want to participate in this event. If you don't, that's cool too. But for those that people that subscribe, um, who rely on me for information or whatnot, you know, I wanted to get this out there ahead of time so that you can level up your professions and gather gold and get ready because it, it, you only have a small time window to actually do this crafting. So I want to get that out to you. Uh, thanks for watching.